In a world of green, just like a dream, you and I standing wild and free, with petals so golden, the sun's warm kiss, a love so strong a Good morning, everyone, and it has been a long journey to get to where we are now. And I'm just hoping that we can get this van ready before we head off on our trip. <laughs> it's not too long now, but we want to have those final things done. We don't want to leave not half finished van, but we don't want to <laughs> leave a 98% van sitting at the airport waiting for our return. So let's get into it. All right now, Tim is busy in here. Let me clock. Look at the state of this. Look at the state. <laughs> um, oh, our battery charge is still charging, but. What are you doing in here? You're fixing our drawers. That's right, because the I'm RV putting labs magnetic have latches. no uh, latch. So I've got that. The top one is done. Yeah. But this one actually latches onto the bottom of this cupboard. So we need to. Um... If you've seen our previous video, um, you'll know that uh, we kind of made a mistake with these latches, but we're trying to work with I, what we've got. It's not so much the latches themselves. The latches actually work really well. It's. The cupboards, they're not oh, no, compatible yeah, with the cupboards. Yes, yeah, the cupboards we've chosen. If you haven't seen that video, I'll, I'll link it up the top here yeah. for you. Because the top the top drawers, they once they lock in, they lock in really well. But there is no bar here to put this catch on. So that's the problem. Yeah, so we're going to use magnets now to actually make, make sure all this... And these things shot. are really good. They have eight kilos of pressure on them, so... Put that yeah. on there, that should stop the drawers flying open. And it works really well with that covered up the top there. I'm laughing because every time we come back in this van, we hit our head on something. If you're going to do van life, people, just be wary that the you'll be hitting belt. your head on everything. <laughs> Doesn't matter how well built it is, you'll hit your head on something. Why do you think van lifers wear hats? <laughs> Pen lifers or, wear hats or, all the time or beanies because they're covering all the lumps on their heads. Or dreadlocks because it <laughs> yeah, gives them some cushion. <laughs> and all those man buns. They're there for a reason. That's what they're, that's what they're there for. Yeah. <laughs> Proximity. Unfortunately, we don't have those hairstyles, so, you know, maybe we'll change. Maybe we'll have to change. Should I grow a man bun? <laughs> Should I grow a man? New clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> We're hearing a lot of noise at the back there. Um, I think you're putting in a radio or something, Amy? I am putting in. Oh, there you go, that's in. Just wired it in to make sure it works. What is the it? The UHF radio. Hmm. So this is pretty handy, um, especially on uh, if you're driving out back. If you have it on channel 40, that's the trucker's channel. If you come up behind a truck or a truck um, is in the distance ahead of you and you just want to you want to get by you just ask them if it's okay to go by and he'll let you know um, also it, if you listen to you have it on channel 40 as well you can hear if there's hazards up ahead or uh, uh, what they call flash for cash the speed cameras so that's pretty handy to have and it's also good for emergencies as well if we break down and we've got no phone signal at least oh, we can, can radio out that. yes yeah, cool. so it's only short wave it's probably only does five to ten kilometers but it will you know if you want close by a road and someone comes on channel you can ask for help and they will help you cool i just uh, turned around let me show you guys oh my god it's chaos in here abs i think this is the worst i've ever seen this i had to empty out the uh, overhead cupboard to get to the oh aerial my cable god for the, the the uhf Oh look, we have a magnetic chess game. We've never played chess. <laughs> We're gonna learn. <laughs> the things you find, eh? They're there somewhere. But you can tick off a few things off that list up there. Actually, off them things off there. Mm, maybe. So we're sitting here wondering why our battery is low. We're thinking, oh no, we've got problems again. We have to look. We have to look into this before we go away. Um. Let me turn you around and show you what the problem is. Operator error. <laughs> I, we've got battery the battery charger on, if but it's not plugged plug into the them battery. Into the battery. Oops. Silly. You're very silly. <laughs> anyway, that should be charging now. <laughs> I think we have an issue today because uh, it is raining and some of the stuff we need to do is outside. 
Nothing on the list, eh? The long list is getting shorter. That's the UHF Dan. Yeah, we just tested it and that worked well, so yeah. Yeah, it's also really good as well um, for like maneuvering and that. We do have a little radio, uh, little handheld ones as well that connect to that. So <laughs> if you're going down a track and you're not sure, someone can walk ahead and have a look for oh, you. Yeah, cool. Or if you're backing up and you can talk to them straight. And because it's got a little speaker on the dashboard, the driver will be able to hear everything clearly. So that's great. Oh, cool. Oh, what have what we got next? now? Uh, it's raining, which makes it hard, eh? Yeah, there's the dreaded realigning the cabinet. Lucky we did a locks last week. <laughs> a lot of it's sanding and painting and sealing up stuff. Well, you can't do that in the rain. Well, I can't really do that in the rain at the moment, so uh, I'm going to have to just go with what I can. Um, maybe just tidy up all the stuff that I made a mess of at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go with that and see where we go. the next day and as you can see it's raining again so we're just going through the list of what we've been up to the last couple of days and um, when I left you yesterday I was getting on with some bits and bobs I finished the UHF system that's back in um, that's in I've got the um, cutout switch fitted but we're not going to show you where that is because that's a whole secret and it's another layer of security that we've got for the van I had to realign the cupboards um, in the back the cupboards are just they were just out by a little bit and it's like it, you didn't really notice it but like if you knew it was there it always bugged you so i spent uh, most of the afternoon finishing that off and lifting the cupboard up with some spaces and she looks quite nice now so we're just going through the list at the moment of what we've done we've done realigning the battery cabinet that was the the, the cabinet that wasn't level uh what we've done and we fixed a worktop as well because there was a little power plug at the back there that wasn't quite fixed in properly and we just fixed that that's nice um we have done um all the aircon outlets um just made them nice and neat so they look really um they, they tie in with the rest of the van they look really nice what else we've got uh we're sorting out our storage at the moment kill switch is done we get rid of that one and oh next one is carpeting the seat bases so the seat bases have been a bit bare for a while we've had a little bit of carpet on there just as a kicker where the seat is uh, with where the seat where the heat diesel heater comes out under the seat and um yeah it's been like that for ages with the intention of actually carpeting the whole thing so today i'm just going to take the seats out and i'm going to get that carpet box nicely covered and looking schmick especially for you guys when we do the van tour um, that's going to be coming up and then we're going to do a breakdown of prices and costs of things that we actually put in the van so you have some idea you don't have to copy us um, like for like but there are some things that you know you might be interested in how much a max air fan costs or how much the skylight costs us or the rear blinds etc 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 so we'll just give you a basic cost and maybe estimate the overall cost because a lot of it was built by myself so i probably put in about 150 hours into the van over the last year and um yeah and if we if, even if you said that was like 50 bucks an hour that you would pay someone to actually build your van that's a considerable amount of money it's about seven and a half thousand we saved money there but the time sweat and tears the planning everything that goes into building a van is quite intense and if you're going to do it yourself don't try and take it off uh, take it all in one big bite do it in lots of little bites break it down into sections start with your your insulation your wiring your plumbing and then and then just build up on that because you don't want to have to go back make sure you get them in order you don't want to go back and have to redo things we've had to do a few little things because we didn't completely gut the van we did a, a part Renault and then we we're like oh that looks nice but this bit looks old and tired now so we're going to move on and do the next bit so that's my little bit of advice to you today and we're going to get on with carpeting these seat boxes but first, I think a little bit of music. Now that's out of the way, this makes it a lot easier. <laughs> 
So that was a bit of a mission, but we'll just bolt that one in and then we'll get the other one started. It's rinse and repeat for the driver's seat. I can tell you what, these seats ain't light. Oh. It's a bit of a mission, but I want it to look nice. Ew, that's looking a bit gruesome in there. I'm going to have to give that a clean before I even start. Looks a lot cleaner. I gave it a wipe out. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have all the human dust that was in there from years and years ago when it was first built. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and back to it guys. So we're gonna get this carpet box finished. I'm doing some painting. We're into the painting section now. So you're pretty much gonna be watching paint dry when I do it. <laughs> so let's get on with this and see if we can do something a little bit different with this. And there's our bare box. Normally I just click my fingers like this and it changes, but I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this. Ready, one, two, three. So really pleased with how that's come out. This really looks nice. We've got this I've repainted as well. And yeah, it looks so much better. Now we're moving on to all of the painting jobs that we need to do. There's lots of little things that need to be done, like little things like this here, little, little imperfections that doesn't really show up on camera, but really does show up in my life. And I, I have to look at it every single day. So I'm gonna make sure that gets done. Morning. I have returned. Um, Tim has heard you for the last couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I've come out here today and uh, I see him. Where is he? Up on the roof there. He's actually um, painting our... Are you painting our black... Roof rack rails. The roof rack rails. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did paint them originally, but the, because it gets a bit of sun and stuff, it's peeled away. So I think it's going to be a constant update. With that if we want to keep it black i don't know we'll have to talk about that one but something i just wanted to talk to everyone about is um safety in regards to oh let me get up here fires and and stuff like that in your van i've been just reflecting actually on, um as you know we're going away and i was watching some people's backlog of videos and i've noticed a few people or at least two that I know of have their vans caught on fire. Now, <laughs> it's something that I really didn't think about before. I think I think it's something that we really need to think about in the future. And so, we bought a fire extinguisher. <laughs> we really should have. We had one in the original build, but once we took everything out, um, it's not something that was being a forefront of my mind. So, um, we got one yesterday, and we just got to figure out where to put it in here. And it has to be easy grab and from, ooh, it has to be easy grab from outside and in because you don't know where the fire's going to start, do you? Um, well, if it's going to start, or, you know, <laughs> who knows? But I really didn't think about it. I mean, it could start from cooking, candles, the engine, anything like that. And there's a lot of electrical in there and a lot of things you're fiddling with and yeah, I'm really a bit of a worry to be honest. So we'll get that sorted today as well. Let me just come through our cab. So this is the first aid, oh first aid, this is the fire extinguisher we got. I think Tim was saying we have to have at least um, one kilo. I'm not sure the reason, but that's quite a, quite a large one, so let me find a place for that. We also got a first aid kit for the van as well, so um, I think, yeah, this is something that everyone needs to think about because you never know what's going to happen on the road, do you? Something else I've got my mind on today is my dog. Pablo has gone to get a, his tooth removed today. He, um, I don't remember an episode a long, long time ago. He got a stick stuck in his face and we took him to emergency. <laughs> and, we, and they took it out, it was relief. And I didn't think to check it for um, infection or anything like that. Well, he wasn't complaining about his tooth at all, but I took him to the vet for, for something else. And yeah, they noticed it's either a tooth protruding or something's in there, foreign body of some description. Um, so they're ripping it out today and um, he's got something wrong with his eye. So poor little fella is under um, anaesthetic and he's getting potent prodded. So I have to pick him up in a couple of hours. I hope he's okay. It's just like, it's empty without him here. 
I don't have anyone to tell to stop bark or put that down. And what are you doing? <laughs> now the use for the skylight is going up to paint roofs. But going up to yeah, going up to door lock painting, yeah. <laughs> oh that skylight's dirty. Yeah. Oh, all stuff was on it. <laughs> oh, it's only the rubber things for the 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 bars, so that's okay. If you didn't think we had enough on our plate, um, Tim has now decided to update boop, as we now call it, um, with some spotlights. We've just realised that there's, there's bolts missing from the panel. Look at it shake. Do it again. Yeah, like the front. It's, it's completely missing. There's bolts missing, so we're gonna bolts. We're gonna put back together our little car <laughs> like Lego. <laughs> It's quite dangerous though, what if all that came off when you're at speed and go under the tyre? Yeah, well I don't think it would have come off, but like, it's not nice to have that happen really, is it? <sighs> well, I'm um, throwing my hair. <laughs> Tim's just going to finish off that and then he's going to get up, um, well the roof's finished now. So now he's just going to go inside and paint the inside. So, it's, we're on the final stretch guys. Final stretch! I can't believe how much painting there is to do. Um, I thought I had just a few little jobs to do, but as you go around, he's like, I oh, see a little bit there. I see a little bit there. I see another little bit there. It's driving me insane. So I'm just gonna keep going at it until I get every single one that needs doing. Well, every single bit that needs doing. So uh, you'll just have to bear with me. I've just seen another bit. Much better. All those little marks, all those little imperfections, I'm just trying to get through it. It's not going to be a perfect van, it's not going to be a cookie cutter van, but it's actually going to look nice when I'm finished. And when we do the van tour, you're going to see the results. Even this bit, I've been putting this off for so long now, it's the door panels that I put in like last year. Um, I think just when we got back from New Zealand. Um, it just needs painting. It hasn't been painted at all, so now I've got to prep this and paint it. That's looking a lot brighter and much, much neater. One eternity later. I'm done for the day. Sandy's on her way back. She doesn't know that everything's done. And uh, she thinks she, I've got a big list of stuff to do. So let's go and surprise her. How was your day? Hey? How was your day? How was your day? <laughs> Why are you looking sheepish? What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> what have you done? It's What's all... broken now? Nothing. It's all done. What do you mean? What's done? Everything. The list. Finished. Van. It's done. What? Yeah. Wait, hang on. I'm touching off the car. <laughs> Just leave the car. I don't want to turn off. Where's the handbrake on? Yeah. Is it in neutral? <laughs> Still learning to drive poop. Everything is done. Everything's finished. Can I have Do a look? Do you want to go and have a look? Yeah. Wow! What do you reckon? Should we show everyone? I... That looks so good. I'm... So you finished? Finished. Not no like 98%, jobs. like it's 100% no done. Nine to, like, it goes 98, 99, 100. Done. Loaded. Van tour, loaded. Oh, we're supposed to be working on it tonight. That's it, it's done. Woo! No more left to do. <laughs> no more building. So, should we show them? Yeah, okay, come on.
or shall we? Maybe we'll catch you next week. Oh, you, oh, you want to do a van tour? We we'll do the van tour next week. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. So. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you've got to do a van tour. You got to do it properly. You understand, guys? We have been working constantly on this van for the last, oh, I would say year and a half. And it's finally done. That's amazing. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, what I'm worried about is adding up how much it costs in the end. <laughs> but we will let you know that in the end as well. <laughs> Have you worked it out yet? Big cost? Mm, sort of. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'll, anyway. We'll figure that out during the week and we'll let you know. But. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next week. Make sure you turn up because it's going to look beautiful. I wish you could see what I could see. There's okay, no, there's next there. week, guys. Look, there's nothing. It's the van actually isn't there. Empty van. He's ripped it out. We're starting again. I actually didn't like the lifting. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week, guys. We've finished, officially put a pin in this one. It is done. See you next see week. Ya.